How can you use AI to solve practical problems in your everyday life? In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how I used Google Gemini's audio AI capabilities to diagnose a mechanical problem in my vehicle after my human mechanic wasn't able to. This is just one example of a practical use case of AI for solving everyday tasks and problems. Particularly interesting are the multimodal capabilities of large language models like Gemini and their ability to process text, images, audio, and even video. I'll give you some background story. I have an Acura MDX and I noticed that after longer drives, the engine would make what I describe as a whiny sound when it was revved. So I took it to a mechanic, I described this, but because this was an intermittent problem, the vehicle was functioning fine, he wasn't able to diagnose it just based off of my explanation. So a little bit of time passes, and then I notice the sound starts even after shorter drives. My thought is, rather than go back to another mechanic and try and explain this again, use AI to try and solve the problem, and specifically make use of some multimodal capabilities like audio. To do this, we're going to use Google's Gemini. You can go to ai.google.dev forward slash AI studio, and you can sign in or sign up with a Google account. Once that's done, you should be forwarded to this page, but if not, then just click create prompt. So this is the Gemini playground. This is typically where developers will go to test out some of their ideas before they actually write it into code. But you don't have to be a developer to use the playground. It's actually very simple. And there are a lot of benefits to accessing AI through a playground like AI Studio. The reason we're using Gemini is for its multimodal capabilities. That's its ability to process different types of inputs like text, images, audio, and video. Gemini is unique in its ability to process audio and video. And there are a lot of very interesting applications that come out of that, like the one that we're working on today. The other large LLM providers like OpenAI and Anthropic can't directly process audio and video. They can take audio as input, but that's just transcribed into text before it's sent to the model. The problem though is that there's a lot more information in audio than just text. There are other sounds and other tones that also contain valuable information. So what I did is I took a recording of my engine when it was making that sound. You can hear a very faint sound as the engine is revving, but it's difficult to describe. So I'm just gonna upload this audio file into Gemini, and then I'm gonna go up here to the system instructions. This is kind of like the primary directive that you're giving to the model. And it's here where you can assign it with a goal or a personality. I'm gonna give it the following instruction, telling it that it's an expert car mechanic, particularly skilled at diagnosing mechanical problems by listening to the sounds of the system. Then I'm also gonna provide this additional instruction, just telling the model that the uploaded audio is a recording of the engine of my car, and that this sound was happening after long trips, but recently it's been happening after shorter trips. Now I will click run, and we'll see what the model returns. Okay, so let's see here. So it says that it's listened to the recording. It agrees that the whirly whining sound is present. And it's also focusing on the fact that it's more frequent even after shorter trips. So the first thing it's saying here is the power steering pump. Why? Power steering pumps are notorious for making whiny noises when they're struggling, especially under load. Uh, this gets worse as the fluid gets hotter. And the first thing it's advising is to check the fluid level and condition. So it's also saying it could be the alternator and it could also be the transmission, although less likely. So troubleshooting steps, first step, start with the easiest, check your power steering fluid first. So with this information in hand, I took my car back to a different mechanic and asked him to take a look at the power steering fluid. And what do you know, Google Gemini was correct. All I needed was to have my power steering fluid replaced and I haven't heard any strange noises from the engine since. This is really just a fun, simple example of how AI can be used in a practical everyday situation. And there are countless other ways that AI can be used to solve problems from small and simple to large and complex. Drop a message in the comments if you have any ideas for how audio AI can be turned into an interesting application. I'm looking forward to exploring this in the future. Remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. 